Welcome back to 843 TV. We are now joined by Allison Crossman, who is the Clay Day Coordinator and Waterfall Farm Volunteer. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks thank for being you. here. Well, thank you. So um, tell us about the art program on Spring Island. It's been 25 years. Um, what all does it include? Well, it includes uh, workshops in all different mediums. Uh, it, uh, we have the Visiting Artist Program, which I think Lark had mentioned uh, earlier. Vis uh, visiting artists come in, they either do a workshop or they just have a retreat. Uh, what else does it have? We have lectures uh, Thursday night with the Spring Island Trust. Usually it's an artist, sometimes it's somebody completely different. Um, uh, workshops and what else, Lark? That's, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. We have an art camp for adults. That's cool. Yeah, every now and then we do that. And it seems like there's a wide variety of mediums too. I mean, you saw I saw one guy like had sculpted a bird out of one piece of wood. Oh yeah. And then you have you know we have photography group. We have even a stitching group, clay group, big painting group, photography. I think I said that. Um, you pretty much yep. run the game you know, on yeah. the arts. Yeah, <laughs> and I mean even like Alice inside is uh, is weaving a basket, uh, the Nantucket style basket. Uh, so we get a lot of. Um, of workshops yeah. in the photography uh, would be awesome out here with the oh, setting. Oh, it's amazing! I mean, and there are amazing results. Yeah. Amazing results. Well, didn't last week I came by here and there must have been twenty-five or thirty people that they were in an oh. iPhone photography exactly. class. A SCAD wasn't it? It was it, a SCAD professor. Yes, it was. It, he was. He's head of the. He's a big big shot at, at SCAD, um, Savannah College of Art and Design. Um, but and they had a great time, and it was a form of photography, but done with your iPhone. Well, the quality yeah. on these iPhone phones today—I yeah. mean, yeah. the quality of the pictures is unreal. It's well, not mine. I have an iPhone four. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get updated. I, I really. Maybe that's coming for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Well, this this was from nine to four, five days. Wow. I mean, talk about intensive. It yeah. was amazing. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, it, this is great. This is an art barn. This building is devoted specifically to the arts here. And um, <clears throat> could you tell us a little bit about the art barn, what it means to Spring Island, and then what type of workshops? Well, like it's samples of different workshops that we've had. The uh, the art barn's great because we can just go and set up. And I'm I'm part of the clay group, but but anybody really can go and set up when the two rooms are available. Studio B behind us is available a lot. And so we can, um, we go and we can set up and we can work as long as we want, we come in and out. It's an open setting. Uh, anybody can come in. People can come in and just watch. Uh, artists do what they want to do and what they're up to. Um, all different mediums take place here. So it's a great, it's a great area to have, a great space to have, yeah. uh, just because we can be as messy as we want to be. <laughs> and sometimes we don't want to be too messy at home. Yes, we, yes, we do clean it up. We're very good about that. Very good about that. What other type of workshops have y'all had here recently, uh, other than photography? Recent, um, recently, well... Um, Oil painting. Yeah, I mean, it's... Yeah, we have a got, great clay one coming up. Yeah, a great clay one coming up. We've had firing... Um, you know, a kiln, different kiln firing workshops, uh, a lot of painting workshops, watercolor. Um, I'm not sure about the photography if they've well, had, the besides iPhone the iPhone it, thing. Yeah, for this year. Yeah, that's yeah. for this year. So, you know, so they, uh, uh, well, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> like on Thursday nights, can you tell us about what goes on Thursday nights when you have well, a lecture here? Um, well, that's the Spring Island Trust uh, uh, Trust Talks. And it can be uh, it can, it can be a his, it, art history. It could be somebody who's talking about any of the nature, you know, whether it's a guy that's coming down from Charleston about you know clean water and. Um, uh, but a lot of times it is the visiting artist that comes in, slides. Um, and it's it's a fun social event to begin with, but. Um, they they might bring in slides of their work. They also get to display their work, sell their work, um, and that's that's. I'm not sure if it's every Thursday night, but it's most Thursday nights during the year. So how are the focus groups different from say lectures and workshops? Uh, like the that? focus groups are great. Um, like for instance, for the clay, which is what I do. Um, when Studio B is available, we can just go and set up. What's nice is that someone who's never done clay and is very shy to take a workshop, which you know involves a 
famous artist or whatever, um, they can come in and just get their hands wet and just, you know. Take baby steps. Take baby steps. And then, and then you know, Lark is often there and she knows, she's very knowledgeable about all clay, everything clay. Um, and and so, so they get sort of helped by the rest of us who are in there working, doing our own thing. And it's, it's a comfort zone for them. So we encourage yeah, beginners. We want the people to come in, test it out. There's a certain amount of vulnerability whenever you're oh, yeah. doing oh, artistic yeah. things, especially because mm -hmm. there's not a really right or wrong absolutely. way to do something. Absolutely. It's all from your own perspective. Yeah, so absolutely. That I could understand why that would be a lot more comfortable to yeah. a newbie as opposed as to opposed jumping to the, right back in there right with somebody in that does yeah. that yeah. Yeah. And a well, lot of yeah. really experienced people who have signed up and they're sort right. of feeling, right. you know, that could be intimidating. Shy, so. Well, real quickly, you're the coordinator of clay of the clay here, the clay groups. Tell us about clay day. We heard a little bit about that. Well, that's what I, yeah, that's what we were um, just discussing. Uh, it's just it's open to anyone um, for the clay. You know, we we tend to have a lot of very heavy materials, so it's nice for us to come in, set up a table until we have to clear out, which might be because a workshop is coming in. Mm -hmm. But we can just uh, we can just do our work here as opposed to at home or whatever. And it's it's just nice. I mean, I've learned everything from going to clay days that I know maybe isn't a whole lot, but, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but, but I've learned everything from, from being in, uh, at the Clay Days because everybody's there. It's a big support room. And then the Clay, I'm sure, is a part of the art shows and everything that Lark was Oh, yes, <laughs> of course. We would not let that be, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm sure it's really nice to have that in here because my girls had all that out at Mimi's because I would not let it in my house. <laughs> so I'm sure it'd be very nice to have all that in here yeah, and then clean it, it up is. and go on about your day. It is. It, well, we, and we can leave it for two or three weeks if, if this room is available, right, which is really nice. Well, yeah. thanks for visiting with us. We yeah, appreciate thank it. You. I want to do I'm Clay Day. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> well, make sure that you come right back because we have more 843 TV.